Hello there guys and welcome back to 100% Chelsea for my preview of the Manchester United versus Chelsea game with the kickoff being at 4pm on Sunday afternoon and I'm very much looking forward to it. It's a massive game, you know. We kind of say it's a must-win game even though, you know, it's not really because we have kind of two losses in hand against Tottenham. Um, but, you know, we always want to beat Man United. Chelsea will be up for it. We are definitely up for it. Um, you know, all of their players will be up for it because they... You know, they don't want to lose to Chelsea three times a year, let's, like in one season, let's be honest now. But it's a massive game and I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, wish I could go. I, there was plans of me going, but then, you know, because it's Easter, you know, all the flights are like fucking expensive. Um, so that annoyed me. Um, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. Getting into the game, starting off with the opposition, as I usually do. So obviously, Manchester United, they're currently in fifth um, on 18 points. Uh, no, 18 points behind us, that's what I meant to say. Um, so their last five matches, they haven't been doing particularly well, if I'm completely honest. So, um, I mean, yeah, they beat Boro 3-1 away, uh, but then they drew 0-0 um, against West Brom at home. They drew 1 all against Everton, which needed a very late penalty for them to equalise. Um, although they did have a, you know, a goal disallowed, wrongly disallowed. Um, fair enough. Last weekend, um, they beat Sunderland 3-0 away. And now just yesterday, last night, they drew 1-0 against Anderlecht in the Europa League. Which wasn't a particularly great result because um, they were massively dominating the whole game and they just conceded the late equaliser. And um, it's, you know, that's basically the story of their season. They play quite well usually. Um, they don't take their chances and then they, you know, end up having draws because um, they don't lose games. Uh, <laughs> they really don't. Other than losing against us, um, I don't think they've lost any games um, since we last beat them. Um, other than in the League Cup semi final when they still went through an aggregate. So, um,. They don't lose games, but um, you know we've beat them twice already. So why so why not why not make it three? Um, how they usually play? They tend to usually go with a four-two-three-one, um, but they've also been going with a three-five-two or three-four-three three, um, at times as well, especially against us. Like um, in the FA Cup, they played a three-four-three three to sort of copy our lineup. You know, maybe Jose thought that's that's what's going to work. It obviously didn't. Um, I mean, let's be honest. The red card against Severa helped, um, but still, you know, we beat them fair and square, and. Um, you know, you probably have to think of something else. Um, Zlatan is obviously their main man. He's on 17 goals, same as Diego Costa. And, um, you know, he's definitely a danger man. He's He can always pop up with a goal, although he's also been missing a lot of chances this season. So it's not like he's just been scoring every single chance he gets. Um, so he's been good. You know, he's obviously a great player. He's strong. He's physical. He's good in the air. He's got a great shot. Um you know, he's usually good at finishing, although, as I said, you know, he's missed a fair few chances this season as well. But, you know, they're definitely not an easy team to come up against, let's be honest, we all know that. Coming to um, Antonio Conte's press conference, and, um, you know, first thing, obviously, usually he's been asked about the players' fitness, team news. And we said there's one or two things that have to be checked regarding the fitness situation before the game. Um, but the situation is good, so I'm expecting everyone to be fit for the game on Sunday. Um, then also he was asked about, so, N'Golo Kante and Eden Hazard are nominated as... Um, PFA Player of the Year alongside um, Harry Kane, Romelu Lukaku, Alexis Sanchez and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And, um, you know, obviously congratulations to Arsene and Kante, first of all. Um, they should really win it, one of them too. Um, obviously, Kante was asked about who he would prefer to win. Obviously, he's not going to give an answer to that. Um, he doesn't have a preference. But he hopes one of them to win it. Um, yeah, you know, just <laughs> I'd agree with him there. Um, I don't really mind me. Personally, I think it's Hazard. A lot of people might disagree with that. Um... Yeah, but for me, for me, it would be Hazard. Um, anyway, then he was asked about if any Manchester United players will get into Chelsea's team. It's quite funny how he reacted in the first place. He's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, then he said, obviously, both teams have um, good players, great players, top players. But he's re really happy with his players at Chelsea. Um, you know, he wasn't really going to properly comment on that. Next thing um, he was asked about, so Drogba made a statement that Romelu Lukaku's unfinished business at Chelsea and... Um, that you know, Drogba thinks Romelu Lukaku would be very good at Chelsea. It's a house, as Drogba called it, that he knows. And um, you know, uh, <laughs> again, Conte he doesn't really like to speak about transfers, does he? He just said you know he won't speak about players from other clubs. It's not the right time to speak about these things. Um, but yeah, um, another thing he was he was asked about is obviously last time we played them in the FA Cup quarter final. It looked a lot like Manchester United have properly targeted Eden Hazard. Like, they fouled him so many times. And we was asked about that, you know, if maybe that will happen again if, you know, Chelsea, if we have prefer prepared um, for that, prepared to deal with that situation. And um, Conte just said, yeah, you know, it's difficult to prepare for something like that, but we pretty much prepare for everything. You know, 
as, as you'd expect, to be honest, now with our performances so far this season, Conte really does prefer, prepare for everything. Um, then he was talking about um, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He said Ibrahimovic is, is at the top of his career, even at his his age. Um, he doesn't just you know play well for himself, score goals, you know, um, assist goals, but he really properly plays for the team. You know, he's a physical, he's a strong player, um, and our defense must be very solid and very well organized to deal with him. But not just him, and but obviously the whole team. Um, so that's about the whole his relationship with Jose Mourinho. Obviously, um, when we beat them four 0 Chelsea going up to him, you know, don't celebrate like that at 4-0 and then last last game Jose in my opinion still backs in sort of almost kicking the ball at Antonio Conte and Conte probably having a go at him but Conte said you know it's not that there's no personal problem with with Jose it's just a sportive competition obviously you know these things like when he shouted at Mourinho there was more heat of the moment kind of thing so um you know they're probably never going to be best friends um I guess they're prop they you know they respect each other um Conte knows what Mourinho has achieved at Chelsea so um you know there's they big respect I guess um but they're never going to be best friends, let's be honest now. And um, then he was asked about, obviously, with United playing last night, how big of an advantage um, it generally is over the whole season for Chelsea not to be in it. And um, he said, obviously, you know, it's more time to, to work, especially when there's a new manager coming in and trying to implement a new system, a new way of playing football. It obviously helps. But, um, you know, Liverpool are in the same situation. They're not where Chelsea are, are they? <laughs> like, he didn't say that in those words, but kind of implemented that like you mentioned Liverpool and then kind of stopped but um we all know what he tried to say um but and he's completely right you know Liverpool aren't where we are let's be honest um but you know he also said he would massively prefer to be in the Champions League I think we all would um although you know winning the league if not being in the Champions League means winning the league and being in the Champions League would have meant not winning the league I'd rather not be in the Champions League obviously um but yeah uh <laughs> quite obvious really um and then he was some Italian journalist asked him about, um, you know, Berlusconi, a former AC Milan owner, sold them to a Chinese group. Nobody cares about that. Um, then, you know, he was followed up. The question was followed up by, you know, there have been rumours about you going to Milan, to Inter Milan. Conte just said, that's, that's even old news. It's wrong news and it's even old news now. So um, let's not talk about that. Coming to Chelsea, coming to um, how I think we should play, how I think we will play and how I think we'll line up. Um, so obviously, like I mentioned before, United did play last night on Thursday night, which obviously gives us a certain advantage. Their players will be tired. It's an away game. Yes, it was in Belgium, so it's not like a long travel, um, like a long journey. But, you know, it's, it's still an advantage. You know, their players will feel it more, um, you know, the physical side of things than our players will with having a full week, uh, full week's rest. And coming to the lineup, I think it's probably, I'm expecting the exact same lineup that started against Bournemouth, if I'm completely honest, which would be Thibaut Courtois and goal, Gary Cave, David Luiz and Cesar Spilicueta as the three centre-backs. Um, Victor Moses and Marcus Alonso, the two wing backs, and um, I'm expecting Nemanja Matic to play next to N'Golo Kante in the centre of the park because um, it usually has been Nemanja Matic in the away games when he was available. Um, so um, I'm guessing that will be the same as again, um, unless we obviously change formation to 3 5 2. Um, and then obviously my front three would stay the same. We need Hazard, Diego Costa, and um, Pedro. P please don't anyone tell me you want to drop Costa against Man United. Just, just like you know, be real, <laughs> be real. Now you don't want Batshuayi to play against Man United. Let's be honest now. Um, you know, I've talked about the recent results. It's really you know, Old Trafford, Theatre of Dreams. It's more like become the Theatre of Draws, isn't it? <laughs> um, Theatre of Draws. I, I like that. Um, but I'd rather be it be the Theatre of you know defeats um, on Sunday. You know, we've already beat them twice this season. Why not beat them again? Yes, um, those two um, wins for us have obviously come at Stamford Bridge. But why not make it, a, make it another, you know, win? As I said, you know, they did have that game yesterday. They're not been doing particularly great. They needed that very late um, penalty to not lose against Everton. They only drew 0-0 against West Brom. Um, so I think if we do show a good performance, I think that we will win. Um because, yeah, you know, we're a great team. Not saying they're not a great team, but especially coming to the latter stages of the game, they will be a bit more tired than we are, and then we can even more so take the control. And, um, yeah, you know, I think we're kind of the favourites. Um, it's obviously a difficult game. It's always going to be a difficult game away at Manchester United, no matter who the manager is, no matter how they're doing this in, you know, in this particular season. In a big game, Manchester United away is always difficult. My prediction, my personal prediction, would be 1-0, just like um, what we beat them in the... FA Cup. Obviously, it could be a 1-0, but I think it will be a tight game because um, Mourinho will do everything in his powers to win that game. Not just to not lose that game, but to win that game. Um, 
so that's why I think it will be tight. They might score one, but um, if they open up that much, did they score? <laughs> Which sounds weird, but yeah. Um, I think we'll score two. So anyway, my, I think we'll win. Um, although, you know, a draw is very much on the cards just as much. Uh, I don't think we'll lose, but, um, you know, my prediction, like I said, is a 1-0. So yeah, that, that's really it for me. Um, leave me all of your thoughts down in the comments section below on, obviously, the game. What's your match prediction? Um, leave me all of your thoughts on what Antonio Conte said in this press conference. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Um, you know, we massively do appreciate that. Just just as much as we appreciate you subscribing. Um, you know, just click this button here and you will be subscribed. As I said, we massively do appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm very much up for the game. Um, up to chills, and I'll see you next time.